Look no further. Hi, I'm Mark, and I'm here to give you the definitive reading order of Robert Jordan's The Wheel of Time. It's so hard when you want to get into a new fantasy series that has so many books and they're all so big. I really wish publishers would set up some sort of recommended reading order in the form of a numbered list on their books. But then again, if that were the case, then what would be the point of making this video? There would be none. Just as a note before we start, my reading order only covers the main 14 books of The Wheel of Time. If you want to know where to read the prequel New Spring, it's not this video. But without further ado, I will guide you through reading the epic fantasy epic, The Wheel of Time. Number one. So the first book that you read is obviously so important, especially in fantasy, because it introduces you to this new world. And I know, I know there are a few different opinions out there on where to start when you're reading The Wheel of Time. I'm here to tell you, with the definitive reading guide, that you should start with The Eye of the World. I've seen some people say that you should leave The Eye of the World until last, and I really do get where you're coming from with that, but in this reading order, it's gotta be first for me. The Eye of the World is just such a good introduction to the plot and the cast of characters who we follow, I'd almost swear that Robert Jordan intended it to be read first. Number two. So while there's no question for me on where to start the series, in terms of where you go next, I'm a bit more open on the second book. If you ask, say, Reddit or Twitter what to read next, no doubt you're going to get those Winter's Heart fanboys who tell you to go straight into Winter's Heart next. And to be fair, I listened to them, that's the order that I read them in. Or you'll come across that well-known like Twitter of time hashtag light after I, which says you you should read A Memory of Light as your second book in the series. But when it comes to me recommending, I have to go with The Great Hunt. I think it works well as a sequel to Eye of the World, it opens up the world a bit more, and it just gives us an all-round better understanding of the characters. Number three, four, and five. For these next three books, you should read them in this order, no matter where you put them in the overall series. Even if you leave them until last, you should still read The Dragon Reborn, The Shadow Rising, and then The Fires of Heaven, all three together. I'm going to recommend them as books three, four, four and five, but as I said, please read them in this order. Please. Read them in this order. Please. Please read them in this order. Number six is Lord of Chaos, no need to explain this one. A Crown of Swords is gonna be number seven for me, and yeah, this is the most controversial one on my list. This book, if you're not part of the fandom, which I'm not, has categorically been recommended as the 10th book to read, even before there were 10 books released. Famously, when this book was released, not one single person read it, they all waited until the 10th Wheel of Time release, read that, and then went back and read Crown of Swords as the 10th. Number eight, Eight. There has been a lot of controversy recently about which book to read as number eight in the Wheel of Time reading orders. No need for me to go into it because I'm sure you're aware of this controversy unless you live under a rock, which I do, but I'm gonna buck tradition here and I'm going to recommend A Path of Daggers, the eighth book to be released, as the one that you should read eighth. Number nine and ten. Famously, part of the fan base recommends that for books nine and ten you should read the last chapter of Winter's Heart, then the prologue of Crossroads of Twilight, then keep alternating back and forth between those two books backwards. While I plan on trying that for my second read through, I think that as a new reader you should go with Winter's Heart and then Crossroads of Twilight for books 9 and 10. The rest. Now I actually haven't read past Crossroads of Twilight so I don't have personal experience with where to go from here, but my best guess would be to finish out the series you should read the last four books in the order that they were released. It may not have been the way they were intended to be read but I think it works really well as someone who hasn't read them. And that's it. That's, that's that's my list. Oh, sorry, my producer is um, telling me there's numbers on the books. N oh, okay. Like a reading order. Oh, and the order is the exact order that I just told people to read them in, which is the order that they were released. Is, is that what you're saying? Oh, well, uh, job well done, I guess.